Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2! Hello! It is Friday today. We both went to the gym bright and early this morning. We got there. Yep. Aiden went and lifted and I went to boxing. Good way to start the day. And now we got all ready. We ate those breakfast sandwiches. Oh, very yummy. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this breakfast sandwich. What did you put in it? Eggs, cheese, mayo, sriracha, salt, pepper, basil. Oh, so yummy. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Happy Vlogmas. <gasps> We're gonna take Puka for a walk before we go to work. Did you hear that? We're gonna take you for a walk. What? Are you ready to go for a walk? It's walkie time. Wow. Yay! Boogie's happy it's the weekend. Oh, look at that stretch. That's a really good stretch, huh? Oh. It's a big night tonight. Why is it a big night, Pookie? Why is it a big night? Do you know, hmm? Pooks? Do you know, Pookie? Uh oh, that's a bad sound coming. Uh oh, it's sirens. You're okay. It's a big night tonight. It is a big night. What's happening? Well, stand back. The band I play in. We're releasing our third album. Third the, album. The third one. And we've been waiting on this one for a while because we recorded it and then COVID. It'll be good to finally get it out. Um, so we're playing a show at Barely's slash Beerly's. Whichever way you want to pronounce it. And it should be good. Should be good. We're playing with another band called Wall. Wall? Yep. Wall. Stand back. <laughs> be there. I think it, it'll be too late for them. Be there. But you know how you could hear the music? Through Bandcamp. Through Bandcamp. So I'm going to put it down below. You can pay 10 bucks? Yeah, 10 bucks for the album, and then eventually it'll be, we'll release it on Apple Music and Spotify, like, in a month or something like that, but for all the people who want to hear it as soon as they can. If you want to hear it today, yeah, you can. I'll put it down below if you want to listen to the third Stand Back album. It's very exciting. Exciting. Three albums, man. That's crazy. That's a lot. And I heard there's new Christmas t-shirts. There's new Christmas Stand Back merch. Am I going to get one? If you have money. They're expensive to make. They're so expensive. <laughs> That'd be a good Yankee Swap gift if it wasn't so expensive. Mm. Speaking of which, we're going to a Yankee Swap party tomorrow night. I've got part of my gift ready, but I think I need something else small. And you need to get the whole gift, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to do that tomorrow in the day. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, he just really wants to play. She's very excited about Vlogmas. This is her reindeer. Rodney. That she got for her birthday on November 3rd, and uh, she loves it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a squeaky one and a crinkly one, so that's like the best combo. You think you're stronger than me? Oh, you're going to jump? You're going to pounce at your dad? 
Ooh. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> oh, whoa. We should have some food. You can get ready for your gig. Yeah. Puka. <sighs> We're going to play with Puka. Yep. Eat some food. Yep. Get ready for your gig. Yep. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Aiden wants to you show you Puka's know. face. I'm right. This is what she looks like when she has her thing. She likes it very much to hold him upside down and squeak him. Puka, what are you doing? He's got stuff and coming out of his butt. I told you. <laughs> He's coming you up. Already, already ripped him. Oh, it's hard being a duke. It's hard being a duke. Sniff your own tooth. Hard being a duke. <laughs> So Aiden just left for his gig. Um, I'm gonna be leaving in about an hour, so I'm trying to figure out what to wear. I feel like I'm always struggling this time of year. Well, anytime the seasons change, I struggle with what to wear. I just feel like I don't have that many tops to wear going out anymore. And it's either a summery top that I'm worried I'm gonna to be too cold in, even if I wear a jacket. Or I wear a sweater and then I'm so hot in the bar. So I do really like this top from Dynamite I got a couple months ago. Actually, before the wedding, I got it for my bachelorette party. And I do really like this. So I might wear this tonight because it's a good in-between. It's still nice and thin, but it's long sleeve. So it should be warm enough. Yeah, I might just touch up my makeup too. You might be able to hear that I'm still kind of congested and sounding funny. I have been off and on, sort of sick for a few days now, almost a week, and it's been very weird. And I know there's a lot of things going around right now, but I didn't feel well, and then I was fine for a few days, and then I felt sick again, and now I <laughs> I'm still feeling like I'm recovering, and boxing today was actually very difficult. So it was my first day back since being sick for the past week or so. And I can really notice a big difference when I take, I don't know, a few classes off. I feel like it really messes with my stamina. And today I was just dying and I could not make it through. But speaking of boxing, I feel like I should say it's been almost a year. So the first time I tried boxing was last December 15th, I think. I went with Aiden to a class at his boxing gym at the time. And I'm going to use you as my mirror. <laughs> I went to a boxing class with him and I loved it. And I went off and on for a few weeks over the holidays. And in January, I got a pass for a year, I think. And... Sadly, Aiden has not been going because he really injured his knuckle and he has been trying to find a way to fix it. He's done physio, lasers, uh, needles, like everything they can do basically other than surgery. And it's just not helped at all. So sadly, Aiden hasn't been going to boxing, but I've been going and I'm still really loving it. It's a great workout. I start my day with it and honestly never feel better. I mean, other than today when I was passing out. But most of the time, it's like I have so much energy the rest of the day. I feel in a good mood because I, I don't know, really happy about it. When I started there, we were still pretty locked down. So basically you would go to one heavy bag and do your entire workout there on that bag you know, doing other things on the floor, getting back up. And now it's completely different. You do a lot of pad work, so you grab a partner and do pad work. And when Aiden was still going, he was partnering with his dad. And I would have social anxiety every day <laughs> at whatever, 5.30 a.m. being like, oh my God, I gotta find a partner. <laughs> I know to some of you that probably sounds ridiculous, but if you have social anxiety or anything like that, you'll probably know what I mean in that, like, it's just, what if? Like, all the awkwardness of asking somebody and 
do you ask their name? And I normally wear my glasses because I don't want to wear contacts at 6 a.m. And I take off my glasses for the workout and then I can't see and then, oh my gosh, that's another thing that like, I didn't expect it to help with, but it's helped with my social anxiety and I'm kicking butt at it first thing in the morning, getting it out of the way, and then I feel like I can do so much more in the day. Oh, it's great. I have always struggled with working out. I've done things for a couple weeks at a time and just given up. I didn't play sports or anything growing up, so I feel like it doesn't come naturally to me. I feel very uncoordinated and so having a workout routine was just like non-existent until I came here. So if you're still struggling to find something, I believe there's something out there for you. Even if it's walking, like whatever you can do to move your body and enjoy it, I think is the best thing. But if you've never tried boxing and you live in HRM, try Q Rules Boxing. They've got a great two week pass, I think, to try it out and they will give you some tips and pointers on your first class and if you go early they'll help show how to wrap your hands and yeah they're so great there i want everybody to try it it's so good <laughs> but yeah it was leg day at the gym it was rough like i can barely walk up and down the stairs and the worst part is it's gonna be worse tomorrow okay what else Despite the fact that I feel like Vlogmas literally just happened last year, I also feel like there's a million things to update you on. I feel like we should kind of do some sort of catch up, maybe a year in review, talk about some of the big things that happened and the little things that happened because yeah, I seriously just can't believe how fast it flew by. I turned 29 last week, which was better than I expected. It, it was fine, but it feels pretty weird getting so close to 30, honestly. 30 sounds older than I feel, and uh, I don't know, I can't comprehend it, but I'm coming to terms with it. I think it's great. A lot of people have told me that 30s are amazing. Right now, I feel like, oh my god, All right, I'm gonna change my jeans and keep getting ready. I think I'm almost there. All right, this is the final look. I've got that dynamite top on and my jeans are actually from dynamite too. My lipstick looks very dark on the camera, but I think it's okay. So, normally I would wear like blendstones with this outfit, but Aiden got me a pair of Nikes for my birthday and they almost match his actually. So we had to go exchange them the other night because he got the wrong size, but we got a new pair and they're very pretty. And I'm thinking maybe I wear them tonight because it'll match the white top and Aiden's got his white shoes on so I'll match him. I'm nervous to wear them because I just know I'm gonna get them dirty. But it's not supposed to snow or rain or anything tonight, so I think I'm gonna do it. And it's for Aiden, for his big show. So, there we go. See how they look. Hi, Pooks. What do you think? Sniff it. Good girl. Oh, Trent is here. Okay, I've gotta go. Um, gonna tie these up, get my jacket on, and then I think I'm good to go. All right, Pookus, you have a good night. I'll see you soon. And maybe I'll take a couple clips at the show. See you there.